We got Journey, first card. Spirit. Dang. This came out first. We got main female. We got privileged lady. We're gonna take this one too. And then we got occupation. So there has been a long time coming with somebody, right? It's somebody that has been through some stuff, Leo. Or you have been through some stuff with this person because we got journey right here. But um, whoever this is, this is somebody that could be ending a relationship with someone. We're going to have to clarify because we need more details. What's going on, Spirit? I'm trying to figure out which one should I take. These ones. We need some details. Somebody could be ending a relationship with someone. Somebody packing their shit and they coming back towards you. You could be the main. Maybe somebody was dealing with a side chick, Leo, and they could be coming back to you. If not, it could be the other way around. Maybe you the side chick. Maybe you are the second choice. I don't know, but it's telling me that somebody packing their shit and they are coming towards somebody else to be with them. This could be somebody that they already married to. Some of y'all could already be married to this person. But this is somebody that does look at you as such, or just could be your energy. Maybe you look at yourself as this high value woman, valuable woman, right? Some of y'all are. Some of y'all are bosses. Some of y'all have y'all own business. Maybe you have a business um at home. Some of y'all run y'all business in the in the house. Somebody could could make wedding dresses for a living. Or gowns, I'm hearing, or so somebody sew something. It don't have to, it could be clothes, it can be blankets, it could be little things that you could be making, like little purses and stuff like that. But whatever you do for a living, Leo, maybe you do it with your hands and you do it at home. It don't even have to be what I just said, it could be anything. But like I said, just take what resonates. Somebody make things like with their hands for a living. Maybe you have your own business where you sell wedding dresses or wedding gowns or something. I don't know. Okay, clarify journey, main female, privileged lady, and occupation, please. Okay, we got the four of pentacles. Yep, didn't I say your person is ending a relationship, Leo? They're letting go of a relationship. Somebody walking away because due to some form of insecurity. Whether somebody was very insecure in this relationship that it was with, or maybe they've they, they gone broke. Somebody may have gone broke. And then coming back to somebody else. Wow, we got the eight of wands reversed. So there could be some form of delay. Whether you block this person, Leo, or there could be just like some form of delay. Because y'all probably haven't heard from this person anyways for a minute now. So it's just telling me this could be a slow moving process before this person actually come forward, Leo, and let that other person go. For some of y'all. But um, for the rest of y'all, if you know you are done, you probably block this person. Some of y'all block this person because you know your worth. You know what it is that you deserve, Leo. Some of y'all are definitely focusing on your work or your business. But I feel like you just focus on your priorities at this time. You got a lot going on. Yeah, we got the king of pentacles. Y'all have responsibility, literally. I'm hearing tunnel vision. Like, y'all have tunnel vision right now, Leo. It's like y'all are focusing on... Just yourself and your priorities at this time. Wow, we got the tower right here. So, some of y'all knew that this person was going to end that relationship over here. Or you just know. Because we got visionary, generous, reliable with this card. So, I feel like y'all had a feeling that that situation was going to end. Maybe you always knew that situation was going, that it wasn't going to last. And that could be the reason why you fell back away from this person. Because you already had a feeling that it wasn't going to last that long. Or you just already had a feeling it was going to end regardless. You see what I'm saying? Um, but it is telling me that somebody lost their job. And it don't even have to be you. It could be them. Somebody may have lost their job. Or somebody could be coming to some form of a, aware um, awareness about a job.
I'm here. It's a privilege for you to be around somebody. But like I said, you put yourself on a high pedestal. You look at yourself as, you know, this high quality woman. Some of y'all are dating somebody new. Some of y'all are dating somebody new, Leo. And this is somebody that actually has their own money. This is somebody that take care of you, whether they take you out to eat, whether they take you shopping, whether they give you money. You know, I just feel like some of y'all are dealing with somebody that is a provider. I don't know why, but I'm hearing somebody's daughter may be married to a, um, a provider, a king I'm hearing, or a queen, or a prince. I don't know. Somebody could have brown hair or sandy red hair. And maybe this person could be engaged to a provider. Or somebody could be married to a provider. But somebody is going through some form of awareness. Like awakening, I'm hearing. Oh. Something backfired. Somebody's getting back karma. Okay, let's keep it moving. Because we need to know what's going on. But like I said, y'all just take what resonates. I'm just giving y'all different messages. Some of y'all found somebody that is more reliable, somebody that you can depend on, that has their own money. You see what I'm saying? And that could be the reason why you blocked the person that's planning on coming back to you after they walk away from that third party. Because you have a provider, whether you're married or not. Some of y'all, this is your ex-husband or your ex-wife that you have um, blocked. And maybe you're still married to this person, but you're still out here dating. You see what I'm saying? Maybe this is somebody that you are, like, like I'm, I'm getting that. Some of y'all are still married to somebody, but you're still dating somebody that does take care of you. You see what I'm saying? I am getting that energy. And maybe they are investing into your business. Some of y'all have a, a, a business. Maybe you work from home. But y'all have somebody taking care of you, doing everything for you. Whether they take care of you at home, maybe they cook for you, they clean for you, they wash the dishes for you. This person probably take you to work. I don't know. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody that do all these things for you, Leo, low key. Meanwhile, your person in the back going through something with this third party. I feel like that's what it is for some of y'all. Y'all got somebody that's doing everything in the book for you. Some of y'all don't even have to work. Some of y'all, maybe this person take care of you so good to the point where they told you you don't even have to work. I'm going to take care of you, baby. Maybe they said that to you. I am, I'm getting that energy where y'all dealing with somebody who got their own money. The man got his own money. But you had a feeling that relationship was going to end. You already knew that your ex-husband or your ex-wife or whoever this is or your ex in general. It don't have to be husband or wife, right? Because some of y'all is still married to this person that's dealing with another person. The rest of y'all are not married to another person. I mean, married to this person. It just is an ex, right? But um, if not, like I said, you already in a relationship with somebody and married to a new person that's doing everything for you. Some of y'all are just engaged with this new person. But you already had a feeling that you already got a feeling that your person that left you or you left behind because they have somebody else. You already knew that was going to end. I, I know, Leo. Y'all had a feeling that was going to end. That's why you didn't care. That's why you continued to do you. Because you already knew this person, that situation was going to end. And it really is. We got ep epiphany. I cannot say this word. Self-reflection. Answer questions. Untapped talents. Like... You already knew. Y'all already knew it was up. Y'all going to find out. Some of y'all may act shocked, surprised, but you're really not. <laughs> but somebody's in a lot of shock and conflicted. Maybe they come back, Leo. Okay, I'm getting this energy. Take what resonates. Some of y'all, this person leave that side piece, right? But you blocked them. They, they leave the side piece and reach out to you, but you blocked them. Since they realized they was blocked, some of y'all, this person came back.
for you. But they were surprised when they realized that you have somebody else, whether you told them or whether they see somebody in your house. I'm getting that for some of my Leos. Some of y'all, this person is, they, they had a surprise, surprise when they came back because you have somebody else. And that could be the reason why we got epiphany and puzzle. So not only they realize that not, not only they just ended a relationship with somebody, right? That was, that didn't go well, but they also going to run into a surprise. And that is you dealing with this person that's doing all this stuff for you. They're going to run into the simple fact that you have a new man or a new woman. And some of y'all, this person may just see y'all out in public. Maybe they don't come by. Maybe they end up seeing you out in public with a new person. And it's going to shock the crap out of them. You gave them something to think about. Some of y'all, this person could be asking you questions. Maybe they, they want answers or, or something like that. Or you could be wanting answers. But I feel like a lot of y'all probably don't even want answers. Because y'all got somebody that can give you everything this person did not give you. You see what I'm saying? And this could be somebody that's broke. But I'm just giving y'all different um, aspects of, of this reading that I see. So y'all just take what resonate. But I am getting this energy, Leo, where somebody is like doing some self-reflecting. About the choices and the decisions that they have made. Because you're doing good. They went this way. And you went the other way. And you have been doing good ever since you went the other way. This is all because they chose somebody over you and you found somebody to replace their ass. You see what I'm saying? And not only you found somebody to replace them, but you also found somebody that has gave you so much more than this person has ever gave you. Yes, they are shocked because you with somebody new, a soulmate. And this is somebody that you look at as a friend, a romantic partner, or a twin flame. That's exactly what it say, however you call it. But they are going to be very, I'm hearing, took it by surprise to see you with somebody else. Like I said, maybe y'all end up running into this person out in public somewhere, like at the mall or at an ice cream stand or something. I don't know, right? And they're going to be very much taken by surprise that you are dealing with somebody new. Wow, this person is in a lot of fear. They're worried. Because mind you, this is somebody that tried to reach out to you, but you blocked them. But they ended up running into you. And they see you doing better without them. Some of y'all probably didn't even have nobody. Some of y'all, they just see you doing better without them. And they're surprised by that. They could be surprised over the simple fact that you're just doing better without them, Leo. You have been working very, very hard. They look at you as this you know, somebody who was worthy, Leo. But you got this person conflicted because it's crazy because your person feels like they belong to you. That's why they left the other person, right? They, The person that left you, they feel like you belong to them. Meanwhile, you could have somebody else. Like I said, the rest of y'all ain't even in a relationship. I just felt like the, the way you look when they see you, they see you step your game up, Leo, and it's going to shock them. Because they really look at you as their soulmate. They want to be with you. So y'all take what resonate. Because some of y'all, this person see you, y'all going to be with somebody. The rest of y'all, you're going to be by yourself, but you're going to be looking hell of a good. Okay? That could be the energy. But you got this person in their feelings for real. Because you got somebody else. Like I said, some of y'all have somebody else. They are missing you. You the one that got away, Leo. This person is missing you, but you found somebody else. You created a new family. They in their feelings about that. Or you out and about with your family, Leo, having fun, maybe out for dinner. Or like I said, maybe you're going shopping together. Maybe you're going to get ice cream or you're going to a festival. I don't know. But they see you having fun. They see your life has changed. And they missing you. They miss the talks y'all used to have. They miss the good times y'all used to have, Leo. But you like the one that got away. Whoever this is, they, they look at you like that. But I'm hearing they, I'm hearing surprise, surprise. You just shocked the hell out of them. They thought that you was going to be sad, depressed, left. You know what I'm saying? Heartbroken. No, you transformed that energy into something else. And made a name for yourself. You stepped your game up. 
You took care of yourself. But y'all got this person in total shock because they didn't think that you would be dealing with somebody new or they didn't think that you would step your game up. I'm telling you, if you do have somebody else, they, they is an upgrade. You upgrade them. I'm hearing Beyonce, Jay-Z upgrade you. I feel like you have been, a, a, you, that person that came into your life, it's, it's an upgrade. You replaced this person. It stepped your game up. <clears throat> and you in it for the long haul. You in it for the long haul. Y'all gonna be riding the wave. Y'all gonna be riding this journey together. And some of y'all are engaged. I kept picking up on that energy. Some of y'all are engaged or married to this new person. Or you will be. Maybe you are just, you just have promise rings or, or something. I don't know. Or engagement rings. But they're gonna be taken by surprise to see you with somebody else, Leo. Period. Wow. And the sex probably good too. Because we got real passion. You stop wasting your time in dead in relationships or just people that just didn't care about you. But some of y'all just enjoying the moment and enjoying the experience that you are having with this new person, Leo. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, some of y'all could be still married to this past person because we have rings or it could be the new person. But if not, you could be still married to this past person. You're just having fun. I'm hearing... um. I just want to have fun. What's her name? Cindy Looper or something like that. It's an old song. My mom used to listen to back in the day. But I'm just hearing that song. I just want to have fun. I know y'all know that song. Especially the old heads. <laughs> I didn't grow up listening to that song. But my mom, she's, it came across radio or the television one day. And I'm like, who is this? She was singing a song like she knew who it was. And then she told me who it was and she showed me who it was. I think it was a red-haired woman. But I'm hearing, I just want to have fun. Maybe somebody named Cindy or Cynthia or Cindy. Yeah, Cindy, Cindy something. Cynthia, Cindy. Um, I'm hearing symphony. I don't know. I'm hearing music. Maybe somebody could be into music or somebody love music, whether this is the person you're dating or it could be you. But I'm hearing Cindy, Cynthia, symphony but I feel like y'all get along whoever this is this new person that you're experiencing right now you get along with this person but I'm here and I just want to have fun somebody name could be Sid 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 the science kid or something like that somebody name could be Sid <laughs> Hell no, what I'm I'll be hearing all these messages. It's crazy. Yes, you pull your energy back from this person. This is somebody that lacks ambition. This is somebody that don't have their stuff together. This is somebody that's that's broke. They insecure. They left you for somebody else and realized that bitch broke and ain't got nothing to offer them. So they think they're supposed to come back to you. No. You blocked this person. But you gave, I'm telling you, you surprised this person when you have somebody else, Leo. They didn't know. They, they already planned on coming back anyways, even though you blocked them. But I just felt like when they see you out here stepping your game up with somebody else or you just out here in the streets by yourself, you know, they didn't expect to see a smile on your face when they seen you. They didn't expect you to be happy, Leo. You see what I'm saying? But I feel like. This is somebody that you lost all respect for. You lost all respect for this past situation, period. It is over. You don't want this person no more. You have already chose somebody that chose you. You have been chosen, Leo. You have already been snatched up, okay, by somebody you knew. Somebody else got you before they, they got to you. But I'm hearing that this new person, they beat them. They beat them to you. Like, literally, this new person won. They won you over. Like, it's too late. You have already been chosen. But I just keep hearing, I just want to have fun. So some of y'all are definitely out here having fun with your new boo or your new bae or your new husband or your new wife. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it, right? 
Some of y'all out here having fun and just enjoying the moment, enjoying the experience that you are experiencing with the, with new people. Like, you're not about to sit here and be crying and weeping in the house on the bed about a ninja. Like, for real. You are moving on, stepping your game up, and replacing motherfuckers. Period. <laughs> like, who does that? This ain't the time to be sitting in the bed crying over nobody. It's time to replace them. We don't chase them, we replace them. So some of y'all was out here doing that chasing. Y'all need to be doing some replacing. Life is too short. Get out here and enjoy your life. Have fun. We got splurging. Yes, did I say this new person is taking care of you? They are splurging on you. Like I said, maybe y'all run into them at the mall or something. You know what I'm saying? But I'm hearing luxury items. Somebody could be buying somebody some luxury items. But somebody's splurging. They're spending that bag on you, Leo. Your new person spending that money. Some of y'all, y'all even got this person to take care of your kids. If you already got kids, if you was a single parent before you met this person, Leo, some of y'all got this person taking care of you and your kids, okay? <laughs> they buy your kids stuff. I'm hearing some of y'all got people buying your kids toys. You know, just spending money on your kids, taking y'all out to eat, just doing different things. But we got shaky offers. Some of y'all kind of conflicted about whether you should take this person in or not. I don't know why we have shaky offers. Or you just could be nervous about this new relationship, Leo. Because maybe you never had somebody that, you know, that done all of this for you. Some of y'all could be in some form of anxiety a little bit uh, with this new person. You see what I'm saying? Maybe it's due to the past trauma that you have went through. Or maybe it's just you you feel like it's too good to be true. Some of y'all feel that way. But I'm just getting this energy where somebody could, or you could, when you see this person or this person see you, your past person see y'all together, maybe they could be very much, have some form of anxiety attack, I'm hearing. This person is having some form of, of anxiety. I'm just getting this worried energy with this person, Leo. And that's probably why we got waves right here. We got waves, emotions, worry, fear. Yes, I feel like that money spending bag on you, money on you, I'm telling you, it got this person scared now. They, they, they back against the wall. They in a lot of shock right now because they see you with somebody else. I feel like that's their energy. In a lot of shock because they see somebody that's definitely paying for your food in the line. <laughs> or buying you clothes, I don't know, taking you shopping, buying you perfumes and shit, you know. But some of y'all got somebody spending some money on you. Like you don't need like some of y'all literally don't even need to work because the person got so much money. And maybe they told you that. I don't know. Yes, look, this is a boss. Y'all dealing with a boss. Y'all dealing with a boss. This is somebody got their own business, their own company. I'm hearing a CEO. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys could be somebody you work with that you are dating right now. Um, maybe you are dating a supervisor or a manager of a company, Leo. Maybe you work for them. And maybe they still want to be with you. I don't know. For some of y'all, that, that could be the case. It could be somebody you work with. But they are definitely, your ex is shaking in their boots right now. I'm not even going to lie. Because you bossed up. If this is you alone, like I said, I'm reading from different angles. It's either you alone and they see you bossed up spending that bread or you could be with somebody and you bossed up spending that bread. You see what I'm saying? They spending that bread on you. Either way, you still leveled up, Leo. You still stepped your game up. You do look different in a way. You see what I'm saying? That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Y'all got somebody shaking in their boots because they ain't expect you to come off. They ain't expect you to look fear. I knew it. They ain't expect you to, you know, Come this hard, come this strong. You know what I'm saying? They thought you was back there crying on the bed about them, and now they mad at th they mad at that. They mad. They conflicted. This person is mad because you leveled up on them. You stepped your game up. That's why they mad. Like I said, y'all take it how y'all want to take it. Because some of y'all, this energy could just be seeing you by yourself and you know looking different. And they see you, you know, looking good. You know what I'm saying? Or it could just be you with somebody that is a boss figure that's, you know, splurging on you, spending that money on you and your kids, or just you. So some of y'all probably even got no kids, but, you know, it's like, it is what it is. But you got this person shaking in their boots for real. I just keep hearing that. 
you surprise them. I'm hearing surprise, surprise. And some of y'all are getting surprises from other people. You know, gifting you stuff. I'm hearing a, a cater to you. Like you're being catered to, Leo. I'm hearing favored. You are being favored right now. Whether this is from friends, family, whether this is from the love, a love interest that's doing this, or you just take, or you favor yourself. Like I said, you could be putting all this energy into yourself, some of y'all. Buying yourself clothes, shoes, jewelry, you know, just, I'm hearing pleasure in your, like, just enjoying your life, period. Yes, abundance. Like, literally, people spending that money on you, Leo. Somebody could be a stripper or a dancer. You don't have to be a stripper. You could be any type of dancer, right? Or maybe you just dance a lot. I don't know. But it says keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. Y'all have manifested this. Y'all have man. I'm here. Some of y'all have manifested somebody spend money on you. Maybe you're tired of spending your own money, right? But some of y'all manifested this you are being catered to you are being favored right now leo you are living i'm here uh, unlimited abundance unlimited prosperity because you kept you stay positive you ain't go crying in the bedroom stay stuck there all day all night every day about nobody you got up you manifested some of y'all prayed y'all way through this to, to have a better life some of y'all have you know and some of y'all got some money coming in for a house. Like I said, maybe this person bought a house for you. If you got, if you date somebody new, maybe they just bought a house or bought you a house or bought you a car. Somebody lives somewhere where it's sunny at. Maybe there could be palm trees where you live. I'm here in Florida. But I am getting this energy where y'all got a lot of great things coming in, Leo. And you're going to be very safe and secure where you're at in this new foundation or in this new relationship. I don't know why, but I'm here a lotto. Somebody hit the lottery, and now you get to use that money to get you a home. Somebody could have hit the lotto. I'm here a lotto. Maybe some of y'all like listening to the rapper Lotto. But I'm here a lottery, lotto. Somebody hit the lottery. Or maybe the person you're dating, maybe they hit the lottery, and you just got lucky enough to, to join. <laughs> Oh no, stuff like that. It don't gotta be, right? Y'all just take what resonates, but yes, yeah, all because you kept the faith alive. Like all because you holding on to that faith, Leo. Your faith is a lot stronger. And you got so many surprises, so many invitations coming in, Leo. You know, and y'all got love coming your way. Cupid's arrow. It says love is coming. Y'all got love coming in. Y'all have manifested this, Leo. But I feel like it's going to be like slow coming in. You know what I'm saying? These are a series of events, Leo, that's happening for you. You know? And um, somebody's going to be sick as fuck to see you happy. Whether you by yourself or with somebody else. But I'm hearing some of y'all could be chosen. Like, somebody chose you out of the bunch like somebody chose you leo and it's going to put somebody to some form of shock but i'm hearing you you could be chosen to do something but yes i just felt like everything is going your way leo everything is going your way you are somebody that is high, highly valued leo highly respected you know whether this is at work, whether this is in your relationships, whether this is in friends, groups, business, you are somebody that people really look up to or somebody actually values. That's exactly what I'm hearing. Some of y'all got somebody in some type of fear and holding grudge. They're conflicted about this. They need help because they, they need, they look for somebody that, that wants to take care of them. You replaced them and found somebody that take care of you. I got fear twice. This person is in a lot of fear because you going because you created a family. Ain't my fault they wanted to come in for all the wrong reasons. But like you dodged a bullet, Leo. Like if they would have came in, Leo, before you got that new person, I'm telling y'all, ain't no telling how that would have went down. 
but they may try to they you didn't give them an opportunity to finesse their way in and that's a good thing that's really a good you be you you ahead of the game you beat them to the punch leo basically you beat them to the punch it is what it is it ain't no competition because you already won you won with this new love or you you won in your own life period or both like you stepped your game up you beat them to the punch that's exactly what i heard but i'm gonna go ahead and end it right here leo i hope it resonates and y'all take care